Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Previous video was just an introduction to what a SQLite is and how it behaves. In this particular video, we will have a look at how to use it in an Android app. If you think of a, any application that is getting installed, at the time of installation, both the database creation and table creation should be taken care of. And after that, basically you will do the insertion into the tables and you may modify the values from the tables and you may actually even remove the values from the tables. And not only that, when the new app version of the application gets installed, you may want to modify the database table and if necessary, create another new table, which is basically about manipulation of the database whenever new app version gets pushed so overall if we would like to categorize the first three things can be called as database lifecycle management the remaining three bunch of operations are basically database crud operations now to do the database lifecycle management we will utilize a api called as sqlite open helper class and the crud operations are supported through sqlite database if you do a quick lookup on the android documentation about the sqlite open helper class you will see that it has got some methods like get readable database get writable database and some callback methods like on configure on create and on upgrade on open on downgrade you can utilize these methods to basically manage the database lifecycle the sqlite database api is a wrapper around the sqlite database itself it basically helps you to manage all the database operations such as insert delete update and query and it has got other such utilitarian methods to deal with any of the database related operations so what we will do is we will create our own custom class which extends sqlite open helper class and this my custom db helper class will basically override the on create and on upgrade methods and the sqlite database comes up with certain utilitarian methods like query insert delete update to support the crud operations we will create another outer class which we are going to call it as a db adapter we will have methods to do add remove get and modify operations and we will utilize the query insert delete and update methods of the sqlite database to do the crud operations it's now better to see this in operation through a demo this is a new project that I have created. It is the DB demo to do list. It contains a main activity with the layout as simple as this. You basically enter a to do item text here and click on the add to add it to the database. And then here you can enter the ID and click on this button to remove that from the database. And if you enter the ID and new textual value, you can modify an existing to do item from the database. I have another class which is a to-do list db adapter. As of now, it declares some constants like db name, db version, then the name of the table and the columns that will be as a part of that particular table. And I have created a string constant which is basically a create table statement. And I have created some instance variables like a context and SQLite database, which I am going to initialize. And I have also created a private static of a to-do list adapter, which I will be initializing using singleton design pattern. The first thing is to create a custom helper class, which will extend the SQLite open helper class. I will create a private static class and let me call it as to-do list db helper and it will extend sqlite open helper class you have to give the implementation of the constructor first public to do list helper it basically takes a context as the first parameter and the second parameter is name of the database third parameter is cursor factory cursor factory is nested class inside the sqlite database that will be the third parameter the fourth parameter is database version so it will be a integer inside this you can just call a super method and pass these values so that is implementation of the constructor and now you have to implement callback methods of the sqlite open helper class the first method is on create and the other one is 
on upgrade on create gets executed when you create the database for the very first time and on upgrade method gets created when version of the database changes the first int value here is basically the old version and the second value is new version right now we will not worry about this now going back there is another method which is very rarely used which is on configure in the on configure method you want to do any kind of configuration to the database you can do it here typically what i usually do here is i enable foreign key constraint in the database and in the on create method you need to basically create the table and for that what you can do is utilize the sqlite database parameter that you get here dot execute sql and then pass the constant that you have created here which basically creates the sqlite database now what we need to do is initialize the static to do list db adapter for that let me create a private constructor first and let me pass a context as the argument for that because you need this for initializing the database and all and inside this you can initialize the sqlite database this dot context is equal to context and then sqlite database can be initialized using the helper class new helper pass the context and then the database name which is here declared as a constant and then the factory as of now you can pass null and then the db version which is also declared as a constant and then invoke a method called as get writable database this will get your writable database and after that now you have to write a, a static method which returns a adapter public static return type is the adapter get instance it takes a context as the parameter first check whether this particular instance is null if this is equal to null then only initialize this i can just do a new adapter and pass the context and then return the to do instance and in this way we make sure that we always get the only one instance of the adapter so we are pretty much done with the implementation of the basic structure of the adapter and the helper class the next implementation would be the insert delete modify methods basically to support the crud operations we shall see this in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye